hello everyone welcome back to my kitchen so in today's video i will be sharing with you on how i prepare this yummy jollof spaghetti if you want to see how i prepare this sit back and relax and let's cook together to all my returning subscribers i say thank you i really appreciate you it keeps me going and if you're watching my video for the very first time Thank you for clicking that video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Without wasting time, let's get into it. So for this cooking, I use some beef, some red, orange, green, and red bell. Okay, I love colorful veggies. Next, some blended peppers scotch bonnet red bell and onions garlic and ginger and some um tin tomatoes some onions and this is the spaghetti that i use i use the thin one uh this is called barilla something uh, this is not a paid advert i'm just showing you what i use okay next i'm, I'm gonna season uh the beef some maggie some salt some dry thyme some curry powder some ginger powder some soya spice i love soya spice <laughs> yes so we're gonna mix all together and we're gonna be marinating this for about um, 30 minutes before we fry it okay you can see how i cut um, my beef so thin and it's almost the same as the veggies okay so the next thing we're gonna make sure we get our water to boiling okay that's gonna make uh, the cooking um, of the spaghetti fast and your spaghetti will not be sitting inside water inside cold water if you know what i'm trying to say okay so i'm going to cook this for about about let's say five to seven minutes because i just want it to be a little bit soft not too soft okay and after that it's done here i'm going to put it in our cold water to stop the cooking process this step is so important Make sure you put it in cold water and stop the cooking process, okay? So after that, we're going to go to the next uh, level. So uh, some oil in the pan, some onions, garlic, and ginger, okay? Let it like fry for about one minute just to bring the flavor out before adding the beef, so i'm gonna be frying the beef until i uh get my desired you know uh result so i think i fried my for about 15 minutes and that was enough okay so i'm not gonna be covering this i'm just gonna fry it like that and make sure you fry it on a low heat so that it doesn't get burned so i think it's done right here i'm just showing you yeah so i'm gonna set this aside and go to the next level so some oil in the pan again add some onion you can see my onions i cut it the same shape with the veggies add the veggies we're gonna be frying this for about two minutes we don't want to overcook uh the veggies because it's gonna change the color and that is what we need we need the color okay so fry for about one minute and add your fried beef you want all this flavor to start coming together okay that is the purpose of frying this together so fry it together again for about uh let's say one minute and after that set it aside you see how this looking this is looking so beautiful you can even eat this just by itself so on to the last level yes some onions in the pan and oil of course i'm gonna be frying some tin tomatoes fry your tin tomato 
until you see some you know some bubbles like this because you don't want that sour taste after that add your blended peppers i already um baked this uh, peppers before blending it at all so it is cooked already and um, there was no water at all so i'm gonna fry this for about 10 minutes before adding the spice so add some spice and mix it together again we're gonna be frying this for about 15 minutes until we see the oil coming out okay and after that we're just gonna add the spaghetti it is very important to fry your stew before adding the spaghetti like fry it so well if you want to achieve that jollof taste it is very important okay so after adding the spaghetti just mix it all together add just a little bit of water and cover it up remember we already pre-cooked the spaghetti so it doesn't need so much water again cover it up and let it let it cook for about five minutes now add all your veggies and the beef and that's it just mix it all together and you are good to go thank you so much for watching my video if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider doing it now and support my channel i really appreciate it and thank you again for watching my video and i'll see you in my next video bye bye